Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to the beautiful land of Tassant, here in the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion pack. And yes, I've still got just a handful of side quests left to go. This episode's side questing and adventuring is going to be a part of the overall side quest called Big Feet to Fill, which involves Geralt of Rivia helping to complete a statue of the Prophet Leviota. Let's go ahead and see what's holding up the construction of the statue with this shipment of supplies that appears to have gotten ambushed here in the forest. Got an objective marker to investigate the tracks around the abandoned wagons. Uh, first of all though, I've got... Oh, it's just a horse body. Damn, ripped to shreds. Something nasty came through here. I will also leave no loot behind, as always. Can I get to that barrel? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. That was not worth the trouble. Smashed bones. Damn, it was strong. Huh. I was thinking highway robbers, but. Smash bones, that's something else entirely. Prince. Blood. Just trying to get away. Oh, there's definitely some kind of clawed footprint right there. I'm gonna assume the footprints continue on the other side. Yep. All of them do, actually. Some kind of noise up ahead as well. What is that? Oh, wow. I'm going to assume that being a tree light creature, Igni should have hurt him pretty good. Oh, I had not meditated recently. I'm out of bombs. Okay, I'm gonna get my coin shield up, get some health back. Won't give him a chance to get me too far down here. Yeah, because he hits pretty hard when he wants to. Shield up. I'll enjoy some dried fruit there and get some health back. Go for a whirl. Nice long spin attack. There we go. That finishes the job. I think before I investigate what's behind those roots, I'm gonna meditate. Um, well, let's take a potion first. And I will refill my potions and bombs. Okay, there we go. Just to be safe, I'm going to put a coin shield up as well. Come out. I'm not going to hurt you. Thank you, Sir Witcher. Let the altar keep you in his care.
<laughs> I was here for an entire day. Big feet to fill is the side quest that I appear to have picked up. Ah, so I believe that this is the side quest that's pertaining to the um, statue of, I believe it's Lebiota. Before I go check out some of the other tasks that are related to this main side quest, it's kind of an oxymoron, <laughs> main side quest, surrounded by a smaller side quest, <laughs> let's ride over to the actual statue itself. And I'll see if I can't get you guys some backstory with what we're investigating here. This is a side quest that I picked up. Oh man, probably last summer. I was first working my way through the main quest. That is the statue that they're building. Who's got some answers for me? <laughs> Monument out of order. Seeing I can't find who's in charge here, I'll just fill you guys in myself. From what I remember, this side quest is pretty straightforward. They're working on a statue of the Prophet Leviota, and a lot of shipments of supplies have gone missing. So I've been assigned to track down a couple of the wayward shipments of various supplies and help get things back on track. As you guys saw for that previous fight, it's probably a good idea that they hired a witcher. Okay, there's the quest line. The Prophet Lebiota's footsteps. So we're gonna go across the river and figure out what happened to that shipment. There's a bandit camp out here, too. Might come back around to it. I'll mark that one, though. That's going to be on the way. I also almost forgot my traveling cape. There we go. Hit the uh, insert button there, which activates the mod. Now I've got my cape for the road. I'm gonna borrow this construction boat. I hope this belongs to the construction crews. No one is shouting that I'm stealing it, so across the river we go. That looks awesome with the cape. You know what, guys? That's gonna be screenshot right there. I'm gonna make a save. <laughs> Got it. Let's park this boat over here so we can get back. That is gonna be one huge statue. Roach. Alright, I'm going to swing to the north here, and we'll see what's up with that bandit camp as we go, too. Out here in the wilds of Toussaint. Ah, what do we have here? Whoa. Some surprisingly high-level Andregas. Roach won't be a scaredy cat. Got a good chance here. I'm gonna hit these workers so I can focus on the warrior when I dismount. Come on, Roach, stick with it, stick with it. All these civilians not even paying attention. Well, Roach lost it there. Now I'm gonna get hit a bunch. 
Time for a whirl attack. He's got a bit of a whirl too. That poison really messed me up. Use my coin shield to get some health back. Which is probably gonna save my life right there. I forgot about the poison. Should take care of things. Thanks, Roach. <laughs> also, what happened with that, uh... Yeah. That Knight Errant. Look at him over there. Just not a care in the world. <laughs> of course, Roach had to freak out right in the middle of the whole group. Well, I'm dismounted. Might as well go check out the stupid bandit campsite. <laughs> What uh, steel sword am I using? Okay, just a random one that I thought looked cool. I've got a new silver sword that I think I, yeah, just became able to use recently at level 51. It's got better stats by a little bit than Erendite, but Erendite is glorious. It's in really bad shape though. Uh, Let's use a weapon repair kit on it. Let's do a master's. It's at 54%. Someone, guys, did not visit my vineyard or the armor smith, weapon smith, after last episode. I must have just kept on adventuring. Really? Right to the bows? Let's charge! Take it for a ride! He just got hit with his own bowman right there. Come on, come closer. There he goes. I love those special art abilities. All right, Mr. Archer, you are getting on my nerves. Oh. It's not allowed. Wow, these guys hit hard. Circle him. Circle him. On hit me. Let me get some health back. Come on. Now the leveling definitely makes for some very interesting fights here late game. Come on, guys. Hit me. It's like they know better. There we go. I'm going to take my time here. Let's go back to, let's do Yurden actually. It's gonna drain their stamina. Let me just wear him down here. I go for my cheap art again. The first Pygmy. My AD is not very ranked up, so it won't do much for him. Hard, however. <laughs> well, that's pretty ranked up. Switching to Axie for our heavy guy here. I'll give him a good stun. Gonna stun him once more. Now he's friendly once again. And down he goes. Well, that was a pretty effective fight, if I do say so myself. Grilled pork. What am I even looting here? It's just like intestines. It's as bad as Skyrim looting chunks of bandit guts. Let's 
lots of really awful weapons. They put up a good fight considering. What a messy campsite too. Look at this. Spilled wine and notes. Silk, cotton, dye remover. Even their loot in their tents is kind of crappy. Florin's Toussaint Crossbow. Nice. Some good random junk. And Bandit's Unsent Letter. To Primek, the Bells of Beauclair, House of Pleasure. Little brother, I'll be short and to the point. Feck Filbert, Sidestick Starling, and Loth can lick my derriere. I'm on my own. Thanks to that flying silver hen, I can live like a Zirconian Pasha. The lads are glad too, because finishing off merchants is not at all bad as work goes. Doesn't tire you much, and blood can be washed off. And what loot! Yesterday, for example, a caravan drove through full of barrels of rum and dried ham. Did we ever have ourselves a feast, which is why I'm telling you, brother, ditch that brothel business and join my band of merry men. I'm sure mom cries herself to sleep every night thinking of her son working in a bordello, and it'll do her heart good to know I've got an eye on you. Your elder brother, Bartholomew Martin Tchaikovsky, I believe. Well, probably a good thing that little brother hadn't heeded that advice yet. One less camp of ruffians for the countryside. But like all things in the Witcher universe, things are more than just surface deep. And we've got a bit of a sad story behind it. Even the random countryside bandits have a bit of humanity to them. This is a cool path. Great, another one of the caravans uh, for the statue construction project has been ransacked. Oh, I bet this was food, as mentioned in the bandit's letter, that was going for the construction project. What happened here? Blood. Lots of it. Waiting for the highlight to fade away so I can see what's going on. Let me walk away and come back. Some trousers there. Oh yeah, something crazy happened here. Investigate the workers camp. Okay, what am I missing? Oh. All of the crazy looking footprints is what I'm missing. Kiki Moores. There's some of the quarry supplies right there in the wagon. Like the footprints go off towards the swamps. Hey, it's just swamps in an RPG game. What could go wrong? Uh, yep, I see a king kicking more off in the distance. Let's go ahead and get some potions going here. Where's my insectoid oil? Which I think. Let me check the bestiary. I think that's the correct, yeah, kicky more. That's the correct oil for the sword. Put that on my newly repaired silver sword. Well, let's do a decoction as well. Combining attacks adds a bonus for the max attack. Let's try that one. I don't use it very often. Let's also get our boots nice and wet before the fight here. Oh, it's a whole nest.
That does appear to boost my attack. A nice amount. Wonder if Yurden would help with these guys. Nice, got a good hit with uh, Iggy right there. Gotta watch those nasty hits though. For the poison. Oh, I instant killed him with R. I wonder if that was the attack power uh, boost. Kicking okay. more eggs. Need to incinerate these to ash. Ooh, I need to clear out my toxicity. The cookie moors hit me really bad. I'll take a white honey and clear things up. That's definitely one thing that I forgot going into the fight there. Next white honey. I forgot that I really shouldn't take a decoction before fighting kicking moors. That just gets my toxicity off to a bad start. Yeah, I'm seeing some people caught in the nest. So, missing workers. This is what became of them. Oh, their cape. Statue is getting taller bit by bit. Let me run back down here and see if I missed any loot on the kicking wars. I think the answer is no. Oh, well, we got dark fast. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. Torch. Come on. There we go. Also, that crossbow that I picked up, how is that looking for damage? Nope. Worse than my Geralt of Rivia's crossbow from the main quest. Uh, so I'll just keep that equipped. There's the nest. It's a decent amount of loot, monster parts and whatnot. What's our last two? There's one, two. Okay. So the question becomes, where do we go for the next part of our quest? It's 4.50 a.m. We've got a glorious sunrise in front of us. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. I'm actually not seeing any more of the Lebiota statue locations. I've got a surprising amount of question marks left here for someone who's got... Uh... I don't even know, like 330 hours in the game? If you guys think I'm playing slowly and methodically right now, if only you could see how I play when I'm not recording. It's just full-on immersion <laughs> at a snail space. That's the way that I like it. I absolutely on, love this game. Still do, happy to say. So I found one more marker for the quest. I'm gonna ignore those stupid wild boars. Let's go ahead and ride over and see what's up. It's just past this bridge. Just past these wolves as well. No roach does not like water, so I'll take her around the side here. <laughs> Don't want to get stuck with wolves right on our heels. I'm trying to remember, I think. There were some workers of some kind getting drunk over here just past the bridge. 
Oh yeah, guys. Let's just turn the UI off for a minute. Look at that. Look at that sunrise. Let's go. That's worth getting up at 4:50 in the morning, in game at least, to enjoy. Okay. Awesome. I'll just leave the UI turned off for a minute. Let's ride across the bridge here. Let's get to the bottom of the uh, drunkenness, if I'm remembering things correctly. All right, Roach, behave yourself. Oh, I also haven't checked what my saddle bonus is from last time, my trophy. 5% bonus gold, okay. Nice. It's a very unique trophy, that's for sure. Here's our drunken fools. There's some random loot, some wine, surprise, some mugs, more great views of that sunrise. This wagon is partially in the river and there's wine bottles everywhere. I feel like we're on to something here. Someone's mattress in the river. That's a great view of the statue. Let's see what these workers have to say for themselves. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Mind your manners. Yeah, fist fight it is then. It's not allowed. Come on. Come on, boys. Whoa. The little one hits harder. Saint Leviola sent you. I must now repair my wagon. They await me at the building site. So long. <laughs> Where did the supervisor come from so fast? A merchant. Perhaps I can get rid of some of my wares here. Hello, cheers, howdy do. In need of anything? Howdy do? Mind if I glance at your stock? Well, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. I have a lot of random junk. It's mixed in with some stuff I'd like to keep, like some of my quest items. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, go through all that later. See ya. Okay, guys, I think I've got an idea of where we're supposed to be going. As you might expect, a statue of that size is going to require a bit of extra stone. So, from what I've seen, I need to go investigate a quarry located here in the far south. I'll put a marker down because I'm pretty sure this is where it is. Yep, if you look, that I bet is the track to get the stones from the quarry to the river for transportation. So, I will fast travel over to Flovive and we'll see what's going on. Well, nighttime has fallen, but we've just about gotten to the quarry. I came along the inland roads, but yep, I believe that's the path that's used to transport the stone. Let's see what's going on here. Arrest warrant. In accordance with Article 161 of the Ducal Code, the Attorney General for the City of Beauclair has designated a reward be given to whomsoever 
Shall so bring before the court one Filbert von Witten, alias Fourfingers, or provide proof of his passing. Our great guardsmen took on the vampires, defended the town with their own breasts and bellies. Workers appear to be pretty idle. How's it? Yes. Oh. Welcome. What's the news, fellas? And here is the quarry. It's going to be hard to see what's going on at night, so I will meditate until we get a little bit of light here. There we are. Yeah, that's a good sized quarry, all right. A guard dog. Here we are, a small statue of Lebiota, and some tools and drawings it looks like. I think we're on the right track. I'll steal some captain's trousers out of the crate. Go on, enjoy. We'll stay put here. Men with deadlines to meet, come on now. Had I known it'd be like this. What the golly blasting devils are you doing, men? What plague? An unfortunate turn of events, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that head on time, the infestor will twist my plums off. Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, uh, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something, an exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Did you see our notice? Is that why you've come? Didn't see any notice, no. But since I'm here, be glad to hear you out, know the problem. This some kind of plague you fear? Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've earned the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Enough, enough. No need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! Demanding higher wages for hardship, <laughs> poor working conditions, you see? They ruined me, the blotters. Mm, my job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow? Where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and the meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Need to know more about this accident. 
Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterf had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? It's all about the coin. Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good hackle. <laughs> so how much would you take? Guys, I might be dealing with a professional here. You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. <laughs> what? What kind of negotiation is that? Fine. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. Fine. I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Let me also reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Botched portal, eh? So I'm gonna guess that this is not the only quarry pit. Seeing this was not infested with monsters as they describe. How big is this quarry system? Not even a draft horse will pass without some cannon. Ah, uh, yep, that's where the notice board is. We've got all kinds of fun monsters enjoying the cow's corpse. Already started in on it. Look at the tracks. Stop your running around. about his shot attack. Let's put Yurden down here. Wait, no, it's Axie. Let the Al Ghouls fight for a minute on their own. I didn't last long. Die. Well, I got the algo with that one. Nice. This must be the notice board I was looking for. Attention cripples the lives of knights errant are not simple tales of glory. Often they are also tales of brutal maiming. To all such mutilated knights, I can offer solace in the form of prosthetic fingers. Gruber, also known as Woodfinger. No actual quest lines here, and I won't spend too much time going over the rest of those. Let's check out the unfortunate victim here. Must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy, unlucky as all hell. Right, now where do I start? Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. 
Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Oh uh, yeah, something hit the crane. After the unfortunate incident, as the supervisor called it. I'll check in here for any more necrophages first. Make sure we're all clear. Armor repair kit, not bad. The journeyman's armor repair kit as well. I know the supervisor said no bonuses, but I'll just consider that the bonus that I really should have gotten. <laughs> That's my excuse at least. What's up here? Ah, someone's hiding some fizz tech. Help those long days of mining go by. Whoa, this crane got seriously wrecked. up right here just barely oh, come on jump there we go blood dragon it must have hit it pretty hard dropped the cow then probably tried to steady its flight got hurt in the process good should be simple to track down now we follow the wound. Traces of draconid blood, barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. That rock formation's amazing from this distance. Okay guys, that's going to do it for today. We're unfortunately out of time. Next time, we will continue the investigation into what is causing all of these issues with the statue's construction. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.